Hey everyone, I'm Nog and welcome back to Satisfactory. We are still out exploring a little bit and I found a nice vantage point here. We can see our factory from over from over here. It's right there. The space elevator. And yeah, it's really nice. And there's a wreck here. So that is even better. So let's see what we can get here. Ooh, batteries. Uh, some screws. What else do we have? Some heat sinks. Anything else around here? Hmm. Doesn't look like it. Oh, yeah. Some circuit boards. We don't have space for those. Uh, let's get rid of some concrete. Anything else? Nah. Doesn't look like it. But it has been a productive trip. Uh, if we just sort here. We found a lot of bacon, a lot of uh, pale berries, some circuit boards, some computers, some cased industrial beams, a lot of motors, some frames. Yeah, it's been pretty good. It's been pretty good. And... Uh, of course, the heat sinks and batteries, a couple of purple power slugs, yellow power slugs, green power slugs, a lot. We've killed a lot of alien carapaces or aliens and got a lot of carapaces and organs. So, yeah. Okay, let's see. What do you need? You need... Okay. We can actually just get you. Very nice. So we have five hard drives right now. And I can actually see a wreck right over there. So we're going to get that as well. And then we're moving back home. So where is my thing there? Okay, and we don't want to fall here. Because... Let's just tear this down. Actually, before we do that... Uh, organization, lookout tower. See if we can stick a lookout tower somewhere. Right there. So then we know that we've been there. So we're going to go down and run over to the other wreck that we could see and hopefully get another hard drive, which would mean that we have six. And then we're going to go home and get started building our base. Hopefully with a lot of very nice alternate recipes. Alright, we're almost down. Okay, the other wreck is over here. Well, let's see, can we get up here? Yes, we can. Oh, there's a power slug down there. Got a lot of meanies around it. Let's heal up and go get it. We might as well while we're here, right? We don't have to come back. Alright. One down. You. one left. There we go. And grab this. Ooh, another yellow one. Very nice. Okay. We have also found uh, some geysers over here. And there's a wreck over here that needs two oscillators, which we don't have as of yet. So the wreck is up there. I think we need to go this way. Let's do that. Hope we can get up there without having to build. That would be really, really nice. It's poison. There is poison. So I think I'd rather build then than go through that poison.
So let's just quickly get up there. We're running a little bit low on materials to keep building. But hopefully we don't need to build that much more. Oh, more poison, more poison. Where's the wreck? I want the wreck. I don't see it. Is it in the poison? It's in the poison. Darn it. Alright. So we're not gonna get that today. But we are going to put down a beacon and say poison wreck. Okay. And I think I'll just leave our little ramp here up so that we don't have to build it again. Okay. So where do we get home? There was poison over that way. So let's run this way. And see wh where that takes us. We need to go over there. Uh, whoa, that's a long way down. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I guess we're taking this little bridge over here. Whoa. That could have been fatal. Alright. Okay. Didn't know I had concrete there. Whoa. This. Ah, darn it. This is fatal. Okay. Crap. Alright. I am going to run out and get our stuff and then I'll be back with you guys because there's no point in you having to watch me run all the way back there. That would just... That, that, that wouldn't be fair to you guys to have to sit through that. So... Yeah, I'm gonna go get it and then I'll see you when we're back. Alright, so we are back over here at the base. I have picked up all our stuff. So, yeah. That was a bit of a bummer to fall down there, but it is what it is. So let's have a look at the map. We have completed quickwire analysis, so that's good. Let's do new technologies have been hard developed drive. based on this new element, primarily in power and electronics, and can now be accessed in hub tier five. Hub tier five, okay. We don't even have hub tier five unlocked yet. So that's something we need to do. But we have a hard drive in here now, I hope, yes it is, good, and yeah, so I think we're going to unlock all the hard drives, so I'm not going to make you sit and wait 10 minutes, but we're going to unlock all five of our hard drives, and uh, I'll bring you back and see the result and put in a new one and so on, so be back in a second guys. All right, the first hard drive is done. Let's see what it has for us. We have an alternate blueprint for encased industrial beams and an alternate for reinforced iron plate. Hmm. And one for stators. The stator one requires quick wire and I think we're gonna need a lot of quick wire so I'm not sure I wanna take that. This one, what's the normal one? What's the normal one? Oh, we can see that in there, can't we? I think we can. We can. Stupid me. So, the standard recipe is four iron plate and 24 screws to make one reinforced iron plate and this one is 10 and 24 to make three so it's more efficient on the materials and it's a bit faster that might be nice what about this one so this is normally four beams and five concrete for one 
and this one is 18 pipes and 10 concrete for three and it's a bit faster hmm but it does take a lot more steel but actually actually no because beams take two steel ingots and pipes take one right pipes take one steel beams take three so it is way more efficient we're gonna grab this one for the encased industrial beams and we're gonna stick another hard drive in there and I'll bring you back when we have a result for that all right the next hard drive is done so let's have a look at that and see what we get we get the stitched iron plate which I actually do like so four and 24 screws or six and 30 uh, wire and it's faster I, I do like this one the modular frames see instead of hmm three reinforced iron plate and six rods and instead it's six reinforced iron plate and six pipes but it produces three that is very nice as well and then we have quick wire which is deuterium ingot and two copper ingots to produce 12 quick wire instead of normally one and f producing four but we get a lot more quick wire out of our deuterium that's a nice one too but we don't need to make deuterium just yet so i'm going to go with the stitched iron plate and we're going to stick another hard drive in there come on oh I need to select the hard drive and begin all right see you when this one's done all right next hard drive done so let's have a look at that so we have iron wire no the stator hmm maybe but the modular frames definitely i like that one so we're going to take that and confirm it and stick another hard drive in if i can remember how to do it there again all right so let's have a quick look in here let's see none of them are there there we have stitched iron plate we can unlock that so let's just do it. That's unlocked. And nothing else in here. Nothing there. And here we have the alternate for encased industrial beams and modular frames. And we could unlock that. Which we'll do soon. So, but let's see what the next one is doing. I'll bring you back in when it's done. Next drive is ready. So let's take a look. What did we get? Alternate for heavy modular frames and alternate for iron. Hmm. We could do iron in forges and use this one. It's quite a bit faster and a bit more, hmm, costs a bit more material, but well, actually no, it doesn't, cost a bit less, 
a lot less iron and some copper. That could be interesting and switch up the forges to forges. I'm not 100% sure about that right now. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? We have alternate for modular, heavy modular frames. So the standard is five modular frames, 15 pipes, five encased industrial beams and 90 screws. And the alternate will not take screws at all. It'll take my eight modular frames of 10 encased industrial beams, 36 pipes and 25 concrete. But it produces three and it produces them faster. I think we're going to go with the heavy modular frame blueprint. Yeah, let's do that. And we have one hard drive left. So let's stick that in there and analyze it. And I'll see you when it's done. Our last hard drive is done. So let's take a look. What do we have? We have rotors, which is actually not half bad. We'll take steel pipes and cable or uh, not cable wire instead of pipes and screws so that will save on a lot of iron and it does produce quite a bit faster as well so that's not bad I think this might be what we're going with we also have the stator one again which isn't half bad either, but it does take the quick wire. And then we have the iron ore. We're going with the rotors. Let's confirm that. Okay, let's see. What do we have? What can we unlock here? So we have them here. We can't do that just yet. We can do that. I just need to go grab some rotors. I already have them. And this one we can't do either, but this is quite a bit into the future. And then we have the rotor one, which we can also unlock. We just need some rotors. So I think I have some rotors somewhere. Somewhere. There, 47. We need a few more. We need a total of 50, so let's just make three more rotors there. And let's unlock the modular frames. There we go. And then we'll unlock the rotors. Okay. Very nice. Okay, so what else can we do in the MAM right now? We could do alien carapaces, we could do raw quartz. I think we're gonna do raw quartz. Yeah, raw quartz, which we have right here. Whoops. And let's get that done. And what does it take to unlock explosives? Ah, we need 50 rotors more. And some modular frames. We have the modular frames, but we need a lot more rotors. Could handcraft them, but I'll do that. A little bit later. We do have everything we need for this, except we don't have enough anywhere near enough the wire. Created, so just grab that so it keeps making. And I want to grab. Where, where did all our stuff go? There. I'm gonna grab these. 
And I think I'll grab those as well. And we need to go grab some iron plate. Uh, I think I'll grab my tractor and go grab some iron plate and some pipe maybe as well. Oh, but before we do that, I have been building a bit over here while we were waiting for the hard drives to, to get done. So I made quite good progress in my opinion. So let's just go have a quick look at that before I run over and grab the iron plate and stuff. So... Come up here. And as you can see, the platform has been expanded a little bit. And if we come up here, so in here we have the iron smelting. And over here, I have set up for iron plates. And they're all set up and configured and everything, but I haven't uh, hooked this power pole up to over here because there's no point. We're not producing enough iron anyway, and it'll just cost power, which we have plenty of right now, but pretty soon I think we'll need to go build more power plants. But yeah. And I've started building a little bit up top so that we up here can do something. I'm not sure if we're going to have copper products up here or we're going to move but uh, like uh, screws and modular frames and stuff like that up there. I am not quite sure. But this floor is going to be for iron plate and then over here at the other end we'll make a pipe. No, no not pipe. Yep. Rod, iron rod. Uh, so that's gonna be good. And we do have well, yeah, we don't have power. I hooked them up shortly, but this is full. So all of the ingots are going into the three mach machines that I have hooked up. So that's good. And we are producing as well. They're coming out here. And these guys are filling up. So we could actually just grab some iron pick. Whoa, whoa! That was not my intention. Uh, I left this uh, little corridor here because I kind of wanted to separate the buildings a little bit. And I kind of like that we have these belts going overhead. So let's grab the iron out of here. We might as well, right? That gives us a bit of iron. So if we take a look at logistics, I want to put in these holes. And every second one. It looks a little bit nicer when it looks like they're supported, in my opinion. There we go. And now I think it looks a lot nicer. Okay. So rods we're going to need to make over here but we're actually going to need to set up more smelting for that in here so yeah and we're going to need to set up some more miners couple of these guys here. We have everything we need for the miners. Uh, production miners. Uh, yes, we do. All right. So let's go do that first. And that's right over here. Oh, is this uh, limestone? Yeah, impure, but it's limestone. But we could get some concrete going as well. It might not be a bad idea need to make this look better as well because these 
long, long belts going along the ground. It just looks like crap. So those two are done, so we're going to need to grab them over here. And we'll set up a couple of miners here for iron rod production. There we go. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. Go a miner. We're going to make these look better as well at some point, but for now, this is fine. Come over here. Actually, let's put in a merger. Right. You know something. And we'll hook that up. We'll hook that up. We need some power over here. Pose. That one's actually full. So let's do this. There we go. And then we need to bring this over. It's not too hard. Not pretty, but yeah. Right now I just want it working, then we can pretty it up later. There we go. Almost there. And we need to come up and over. So let's build a conveyor pole stackable here, and a conveyor pole stackable here, and put these in. And actually, before. cat is going crazy give me a second guys sorry about that guys the cat was going absolutely bonkers it got stuck in its toy so she was panicking a little bit let's see where is it I think it's there yeah, that looks right. Okay. Oh. Come on. There. And into there. Okay. And the uh, iron ore should be coming along slowly. Yes, it is. Very slowly, but slow. It's coming. We do need to get up to steel and encase industrial beams so we can get this moving a lot faster at the speed that we need. All right. So we have that there. And we need it to come in. This is a little bit frustrating. Hmm. Let's just put one of these here. That should do it. And one into there. Actually, this might be nice. Hmm. Let's close it off again. Come on. 
We actually don't need these things here, but it looks nicer when they're there, I think. It's nice that you can see that. And can we see it coming up? Yeah, we can just see it. It's coming up. All right, good, good, good. So that's some more iron coming in. And I suppose for now we could hook it into here. Uh, it doesn't matter because it's only Mach 1 belts and there's 60 on it. So we need to set up some production over in this end. I think. Yeah, we do, but first. We need to find the spacing. So let me find the spacing real quick. Oh, so I just realized that we actually don't need to find out the spacing because we can just set up the smelting over here and then we can move over there. We can just move the hook up as the lines get more and more. So what we need to do is get conveyor splitters and There. That works. And I'll show you a neat little trick. Uh, let's just put our smelter on five. So if this is just to figure out where I need, need it to go. Let's go there. So now, as as it is here, the ore would come in to the splitter and go into the uh, elevator or the lift, but I don't think it would go into the machine. So let's test that out. So let's build a power pole. Get some power here, and then we will hook this up and we'll just do it quick and dirty like that, just for the experiment's sake. So, this is coming. Oh, we need to tell this to do iron ingots. Come on, Keep moving. Alright, so they're going in down there. And see, they stop. This is not hooked up. Uh, I need to put a conveyor belt in here, and that's a real pain in the butt. So instead of doing that, we'll pull out the, uh, the lift, and then we'll stick it in again. And now it goes down, and it goes in. So if you put in the lift as the last uh, thing, then it will automatically connect. But if you put in the lift and then uh, put something else in front of it, it will not. So that makes things quite a bit easier uh, to work with, in my opinion. Because sometimes you can pretty much go crazy trying to get these small pieces of belt in there, but you don't have to, because just put in the lift as the last thing and they'll work. Let's see. We're producing. Fantastic. So, yeah, we need a bunch of these guys. And just that way up. So, 15. Basically, we just need it to be as long as the other one. And uh, we're out of rods, but we have some over here. I think. Let's see, I have a little storage room in here. Nope, no rods there, but then we definitely do have down in the tractor. Parked over there. So, but I think that's a good thing to know that you can actually get the lifts to work without having to 
put in those tiny pieces of belt that can be extremely frust frustrating to work with. Alright, so we're going to do pipes now and then we're going to do screws and then we're going to move on to copper and do both wire and cable and then we'll move on from there and continue with uh, the reinforced plates and so on and so forth but i think in between episodes i will be setting up at least the pipes and probably the screws as well as basically Pipes and screws are the exact same setup as we have over here for the plates. So no point in wasting time watching all, all of that going. So I think that's what I'll do. So yeah. So thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe? It helps me out a lot. And I'll see you next time.